As a specialized event and bridal stylist, I reach for my clamp curling iron 99% of the time when I am executing just about any bridal look, and I hardly ever reach for my wand. Why? Well, it's not because I have a shortage of them, trust me. It is because a clamp curling iron will give you an absolutely gorgeous result every single time. The reason that these curls look amazing is because a clamp heats up both sides of your hair at the same time. It sandwiches the hair in the middle exactly like a flat iron does, so it smooths the hair out while curling it. The result is a glossy, silky, and smooth curl. It's absolutely gorgeous. There are several techniques that you can do with a clamp curling iron to get several different types of curls, but today I'm gonna to teach you a look that everyone loves. It's a modern soft curl with a straighter end using a standard one inch barrel. Let's go. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna practice and you're gonna practice without using heat. I had already turned on my one inch iron in preparation for this video, so it's already hot and I don't wanna wait for it to cool down. So we are just going to do it with my one and a quarter inch iron. Let's just pretend it's a one inch, okay? Just go with it, just go with it. Let's get started by practicing with a section that is beside our face because it's just, it's just easier that way. A general rule of thumb that is great to follow when you are a beginner is your section should be about the same size as your iron. So if you use a one inch iron, then you want a section that is one inch horizontally and one inch vertically. If you use a one and a half inch iron, then your section can be one and a half inches by one and a half inches. Now, don't get too crazy about this. Don't get stressed. It's just a general rule. You don't have to take out a ruler. Like, let's not get hardcore about it, okay? Just general, general rule. Take that section and hold it 90 degrees out from the head. Then take your clamp curling iron and with the clamp facing forward, you wanna put your hair into it, slide it halfway down the hair shaft and rotate it moving backwards or away from your face. Then take the thumb part, rock it open and close a little bit until you move all the way down so that one inch is left out of the iron and rotate that back again. Once the hair has heated up, you are going to unravel the iron and then you're going to pull to straighten the end out. Okay, do it with me now this time. Let's do it together. Take a one inch square section, pull it 90 degrees from the head with your clamp forward, put the hair into the barrel, slide halfway down the hair and turn towards the back of the head. Use the clip to rock the clamp open ever so slightly and move down until only one inch is left out of the barrel and rotate it back again. When the hair is heated up, unravel the iron and pull it down to smooth out the end. Well done, well done, good job. Okay, now we can graduate to using heat. To make this easier, I want you to split your hair down the middle at the back. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. I just want you to have one section here and one section here. The key to doing anything with hair is to stay neat and controlled. So starting at the bottom on the first side, bring your hair forward on the shoulder so it's easier. Pull it out 90 degrees from the head with the clamp facing forward, put the hair in at the root, slide the barrel halfway down the hair shaft and rotate it backwards. Then wiggle the clamp and move down again until only one inch is left out at the bottom and rotate backwards. When the hair is hot, unravel the iron and pull it down to smooth out the end. Release one more inch of hair horizontally from what's clipped up and do it again. And then do it again and again and again and again and again. I personally like to start at the back of my head. I find it a lot easier and I move forward one inch section by one inch section. When the first side is done, you can move on to the second side. Now this is where it tends to get tricky for people. I am right-handed, so I hold the iron with my right hand and the hair with my left hand. When I am doing my right side, my hand suddenly gets in the way. This will happen to you too if you're right-handed, and the opposite thing will happen to you if you're left-handed, but it's gonna happen regardless. This is gonna happen, and that is why everyone always says, I'm so good at curling one side, but not the other. 
That's why everyone always says that because one side's easy, the other side gets really confusing. So when you go to do the confusing side, you are still going to do the exact same thing, but you will have to go under your hands, like kind of around your arms. So let me show you right here. I am taking my one inch section, I'm pulling it out 90 degrees from the head, making sure again that the clip is forward. I am clamping the hair into it, sliding it down the hair and twisting it moving backwards. Then I wiggle the handle, moving down so one inch is left out, unravel and pull through to straighten out the end. Are you guys bored yet? I really wanna make sure you get this technique down because it is the foundation of being able to properly curl your hair. This is what you gotta do and I wanna tell you a hundred times so that you know, you know how to do it. You can have like the best curls ever for the rest of your life. you have to let the hair cool down and set so it doesn't drop and you don't lose all your curls. So do not touch it until the hair is 100% cooled down. When it is cool, you can run a wide tooth comb through it or you can break it up with your fingers. As a final step, I really like to use some texture spray. This one is called High Tide by Sexy Hair and I like it a lot because it adds a tousled texture. It's also good for humidity resistance, but it's not sticky or stiff like a hairspray. Sometimes I just want my hair to be soft, you know? It's like wash day, it's so fresh and nice. I don't wanna gunk it up with hairspray and then have to wash it again the next day. So texture spray is kind of a good alternative to hairspray because you get like kissiness and beachiness, but you don't get that stiffness or that stickiness that hairspray gives you. There you have it. It's glossy, it's beachy, it's sexy, and it is a lot easier to do than I bet you thought it was. You just have to master the fact that you're pulling out, the clamp is forward, you're rotating, sliding, rotating, unraveling, pulling through. If you wanna know how I get my signature most requested blowout, which was the hair that I started with in this video before using the curling iron, then I recommend that you guys check out this video next because this one, this one's over. <laughs>